Hello world and welcome to Hacks. This is just a quick video going through the intro to C2 room again. If you recall in one of my previous videos, we had a bit of trouble getting the hashes through Armitage. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video just to show you how I did it. Special thanks to Rummy who I worked through this room with this morning and he got it up and running using various tactics. So we have our IP address of the box we need to attack and we have our attack box. And first thing we need to do is we need to set it up. So we need to do su ubuntu to change to ubuntu and then we need to do msf db hyphen hyphen use hyphen defaults delete and that's just to get rid of the existing metasploit database and then we do msf db hyphen hyphen use hyphen defaults in it to initialize a new database and that's just to make sure that everything's ready for us for when we set up armitage Okay, brilliant. We did expect the MSF web service to fail. That's totally fine. But if we now just exit out of Ubuntu's user and CD to opt Armitage releases Unix, you should see that you've got the team server binary there. So it's going to run team server, then our IP address, which I'm getting from here. So it's 10.10.214.30 and now it's going to set password of password 1. You see that it's generating the certificate and then it will go through create the server then we'll be able to launch the Armitage client and then we'll be able to attack our victim machine. Okay the Armitage server is now up and running let's grab a new tab let's increase that and then we're just going to do forward slash Armitage that should load the window and now you can see there we have the credentials we know the password is password one and we just need to change the ip address to our ip address which was 10.10.214.30 .10 i'm going to click connect on that and hopefully we can compare the fingerprint with that on the server so we know it begins 5354 and ends 0a7 fantastic so we're going to start that up i'm going to give myself a nickname of joe i'm going to click ok and now armitage will launch fan tabby dozy and then i'm just going to go straight to hosts add hosts and then i'm going to grab the ip address of this here 10 dot and i'm going to come in here and i'm going to do 10.10.76.178 and we already know this box is a vulnerable box to eternal blue we've added one host so all i'm going to do now is i'm just you can scan it if you want to so just if we go to payloads sorry exploit yep go to windows scroll down to smb and then the payload i used for this was the ms17010 eternal blue so i dragged that onto the host i kept all these as defaults and now we should see the exploit run and then what we're hoping to see is win at the end there we go we have a win so we've now compromised this host now what we can do is if we do shell to meterpreter we can just drag that onto the box and that will say we're going to create a interpreter session on port 4433 and we're going to launch that and now you see our interpreter shell 2 has opened so what we can do is we can go to interpreter and we can interact with the interpreter shell and you can see there we've got all the commands that interpreter would have what you can do through here is if you go to interpreter access you can do dump hashes use the registry method launch that attack and it will use the session that's already established and it will attempt to dump the hashes and that will give you the administrator hash, but it will not give you Ted's hash. So what you need to do next is you need to go to explore, show processes. And if you look for Alsace and then click migrate, you can see the migration has completed successfully. What we can try and do again now is if we go to interpreter, access, dump hashes, and then try a bunch of other methods. There we go. Straight away, we have got the administrator hash, the guest hash, and Ted's hash. So all you had to do was migrate the process to Alsace, and then you can dump creds again. And that's effectively how you do it. I walked through it with my colleague Remy this morning, and we were able to do it. So shout out to you. Thank you, my friend. And yeah, we now have the hashes, and you should now be able to complete the room by submitting the hashes there. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Kind regards.